Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and a big welcome if you are new. As you can see by the title of the video, today I will be creating a slime cake. Now I have never done this before so it's going to be super fun and exciting. So let's see if I can actually bring my vision to life. Let's see if that's going to work out. I don't know, this is going to be super fun because I've always wanted to do this but I've never had like the time to actually put some like work into it but hopefully it all works out and what's going to make this cake super special is that it's going to be for mrs bench if you guys don't know her i'll put some of her links down below you guys should definitely check out her videos she does a lot of fidget and some slime content so make sure you guys check her out and it is her birthday so make sure to wish her a happy birthday and yeah let's see if i could try and make this cake look really nice well, this video might be a different than my regular content because I'm going to be filming like a lot of moving around kind of showing you guys my creative process when creating a slime because it is a lot of moving around because I have my supplies in different areas around so yeah hopefully it all looks good and you enjoy this video and yeah let's see what the I can say I want to say is that I want to create like a two-tier kind of cake um with some like blue pink and purple because those are I know purple is her favorite color but pink and blue are kind of like in her logos so i'm gonna see what i could do with that i definitely want to incorporate some cloud slime into this because i know a lot of people make like cake slimes but it's normally like butter slime um but i want to see if i can try and recreate this with like a cloud maybe a cloud dough because i don't know i'm known for my cloud slime and i really want to make a cloud slime cake like that sounds so fun okay let's see if i could do this so first i'm gonna have to get all the bases ready and yeah, let me make that really quick. Okay, so over here, I have my buckets of like base slime. Over here, I have some clear, some cloud, and some thick and glossy, and some butter over here. Um, but I think this should be enough for the cake. If not, then I'm going to have to hurry and do some more. But this should be good enough, I think. Hopefully it is, because then I already have it all ready, and I just have to put like little details in. And I definitely want to put some sprinkles in. And I don't know. We'll see kind of how it goes. And hopefully something works out so yeah okay so for right now we're gonna work on this table which is kind of my work table it's a bit messy as you can see it has some some little scars here but that should be fine um i normally do all my slime work here just because it's like a big table and a big space but once i finish the cake i will take it to my filming area to make a nice and pretty video to send to mrs bench okay so here we got some of my cloud flame base it's very thick and holdable so i think that the base will actually work for like the base of the cake like the actual cake i think it should work um because it's like pretty holdable let's see i'm gonna try and roll it up to a ball and see if it like holds its shape but i think it will yeah it definitely holds its shape so i think i'm gonna use cloud slime base and then we'll do like a little i think bakers call it crumb coat is that what it is i don't know a little layer of frosting around the actual like cake and then we could move on to decorating i hope it's that easy but it probably won't be but let's see let's get enough cloud slime out here to actually make the base of the cake okay so this is kind of a rough ball here but i think this will be the top layer and then the rest could be the bottom which i have the rest in the tub which after this i will have to make another batch of cloud slime and I'm okay with that because, okay, cloud slime, I don't know why. It's just so fun to make for me. It takes so much time, but the outcome, like, look at this. It's so fluffy and, I don't know, this is my favorite, ultimate favorite. So, I don't mind making a bit more. So, let's use it all. Let's go crazy. Okay, so this is the top tier and that's the bottom tier. Let's see if I can actually mold them up. You know what? I think I'm going to send it, like, birthday cake to be, like, in the actual birthday cake feel um yeah let's go ahead and do that okay i think this is good for right now let's try and mold it to the actual shape that it's going to be okay so i'm back with my clay if you could hear it like me crinkling it in the background but i'm going to move these out of the way so that i could start my work with my clay because if you guys don't know this i actually use two different types of clay and i have to like mix them myself because they're a bit one is too hard and one is too like soft so we gotta mix them to make the perfect clay amount and yeah so that's what we're gonna do right now okay so here we got a little ball of clay that i just mixed up 
So I think I'm gonna do the small one first and see if it works out like I want it to. Um, but first, I think I'm gonna need a rolling pin to get it like super flat because I wanna cover it up and make it super smooth. So let's see if I can find a rolling pin. Okay, I have secured a rolling pin, but the problem with this one is like it's kind of wooden and I feel like the slime might stick to it. So I put a little, what do you call this, saran wrap or something around it so hopefully it doesn't stick and mess it up because this is not mine, I'm borrowing it. <laughs> Okay, so let's see if I could roll this out. Okay, covering it. Ooh, look at me. I feel like an actual, like, little baker here. Okay, wait now, how do they smooth the tops? <laughs> I feel like I've watched, like, baking videos around, but I never actually understood how they got it so smooth on the sides. You know what this is? This is kind of like fondant. I've actually never worked with fondant, but I've seen others do it. So I'm going to use my like online little YouTube baking tips that I see others do. Um, okay, I think that's as best as I'm going to get it. And I think it's actually pretty smooth. I think it's going pretty well. Okay, so now to cut around it, I think what I've seen people do is like use like a little knife and go around. But right now I'm gonna use this as I did. So now we're gonna do the big one and see if I can cover this little thing up. We're gonna need more clay, so let me mix up some more of my clay, and then we can roll it out. Okay, I have mixed up some more clay over here. Um, we're going to kind of roll it out. And hopefully it works just as good, if not better, than the last one. Because I think the last one was exactly what I was going for. So, let's see. Kind of ball it up, and then we'll start rolling. Do, 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 do. I'll fast forward this part for you guys. Okay, we rolled out the clay. I hope I rolled it up enough for the actual big little cake piece we got here. I think that should be good. There, center stage. Okay, now we gotta wrap it up. Ew, this is gonna be hard. And see if I could kind of smooth it out this way. Ooh, definitely smoother. I'm gonna roll it to the side. Kind of getting all the edges smoothed out. Doing my best to do so. And I think that's gonna be it. Okay. So still, I think it could be smoother, but I think it's pretty good. And I'm happy with that. So let's move this big little piece of cake over here. And let's take this one and do the same thing. Kind of smoothing it out all around because i think this one's going to be the most visible because it is the top layer okay yeah that works okay so i'm gonna put kind of clean up my area and get rid of all the excess slimes and excess clay that we have here and then i'll be back and try and test the frostings okay so i have i think i'm gonna go with clay but i don't know what color i should do i'm either thinking blue or purple because those are kind of the signature colors but i think okay i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do that little cloud thing that i was talking about earlier um it's kind of hard to describe but you guys will see once i like actually do it um so it's gonna be like i think pink cloud slime i'll do all around and then i could do some blue frosting and then once I mix it up, it should turn out to be like a light purple. So I think I, that kind of incorporates all the colors that I want to incorporate. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So I think I'm going to color this like a light blue. Let's see. Let's go to my dyes. I put a some in. Let's see. Come on. Please. <gasps> Okay, it's definitely way better. 
working on some designs here <gasps> okay i love it it works it works i'm happy with that okay i think i have everything ready for the video so now it's time to actually put everything together and hopefully it all works out okay let's do it. we are outside ready to film with a bunch of stuff and my dog over there so let's see how it turns out Outside, but I finished filming the video and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out so uh, this is the end mess that we have right here um it really reminds me of cotton candy I don't know it's pretty cute <laughs> um but now I need to figure out what to do with all this slime so yeah that's it for today's video thank you guys so 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 much for watching I hope you enjoyed this kind of different type of video of me kind of behind the scenes how it goes to like filming videos and making this giant slime i hope you have an amazing birthday mrs bench um and if you want some of the slime please let me know because it's a lot and i don't know what i'm gonna do with it <laughs> um but this is my gift to you and i hope you have an amazing birthday and thank you for all that you do happy birthday and for the rest of you guys um comment down below what i should do to the slime what should i do with it because it is a bunch um yeah should i send it to the bench let me know anyways thank you guys so so much for watching remember to do all that good stuff a like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video goodbye okay but how fun does this look like it really reminds me of cotton candy like look at this pink this blue oh it's so good and so thick and such nice cloud slime okay that's it for me i really should stop but I can't. Look at this. It's so nice. Ugh. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>